It is easy for some to preach, but not practice. But leading by example is Soam Poneru, who has taken his commitment to providing education for the needy kids beyond charity and into developing social enterprise. The serving president of Nepal Youth Foundation is also the founding president of Yulin's Education Foundation in Kathmandu that established Yulin School in 2006. I went to school when I was seven years old. I had to walk about an hour to get to the nearest school, so I couldn't walk, you know, before I was seven. That's how I started. I learned English when I, when I went to a school in Pokhara, Gandagi boarding, and that's where I got full scholarship. This uh, I finished my college here, but when I was trying to finish my college, I had a difficulty, of course, you know, I come from a fairly humble family uh, background. I have nine siblings, you know, of a farming community. My, my parents didn't have money to send kids to college. <laughs> so uh, the foundation that I work for now, Nepali Foundation, sponsored me to finish my college. A scholarship grant is a lifeline for anyone who has problems in going to school in terms of finances. And Paneru is grateful for the scholarships that enabled him to discover the world and explore new possibilities. Today, he is delighted to have the opportunity to serve educators, families and kids. I was so excited when I got selected. I got the letter from the school. I got so excited. I was supposed to arrive at school in, in, in February, but I arrived sometime in December. That excited. And the headmaster said, oh, so you came too early, go back home. Then he, and then I said, I don't have, I don't have the boss bada to go back home. <laughs> Just pretended, thinking that I, I, I wanted to stay there. Right? They, 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 they excited too. That's the first time I saw the electricity. That's the first time I saw the boss. <laughs> I, know. I had no idea what that machine running on the road, you know, and until, I, until I, I went to Pokhara. So, so it was a big transition. Curiosity, the ability to explore, learn and grow, brings pleasure to life. It's very important that you look around yourself, because your life and environment offers many opportunities for you to do just that. Life is all about learning and growing. I have a background, that's the that's the passion that drives me. Hey? Kina wani moile to education pokhara ma pau padne education opportunity na paako bhaye ma pani mero aile sathi haru jastai gaun ma jotera baste. Unar ko chora chhori aile pani gaun ma school ma padna sakdaina. Ek jor luga halna sakdaina. Ho? Mero ba chai he was illiterate. Haina? He was self taught to read and write but he never went to school. Ani he was a very hard working farmer. In one hand he made us work like donkey in the farm every day morning and evening and on Saturdays we had no free time. In another other hand, he wanted us to get education. He wanted us to send, go to school, get good education. Huh? So between this pool and I'm like porny time in the karma. Tar is school and amre garnu parne. Expectation bane aine thiyo. And tiyo dube factor le kam gare. I learned the hardship. I learned the value of education bane. Strength is measured by what you can withstand, your capacity, pliability, flexibility, adaptability. Each of these are components to withstanding various challenges that you will encounter as you move forward in your life. If you're facing experiences that strain your resources, then congratulations, you are getting stronger. I landed in Kathmandu. I had to find a room. I had no money. I didn't have money to buy food. There were days so that was the initial days in Kathmandu. And then the college fees, you know, college books are So the, the, that was the time of struggle. I taught for seven years as a school teacher in different places, in Gorkha, in Sindhupal, in Kathmandu, everywhere. And I was a very popular tuition teacher, private tuition teacher to earn money to educate my, my, my siblings, younger siblings in Kathmandu. You know? That's how I started. And when I graduated, I was invited to work for the foundation by Olga Murray. What I'm doing, what motivated me to give back to our society is because my parents did not have to spend a single penny on my education since eighth grade all the way through master's degree. That means I don't have to pay back to the people who supported me, but I have a duty to pay back to my society. Right? So that's the inspiration. And then when I joined 
Deposit Foundation, of course I met Olga, you know, through the scholarship. I said, look, this lady coming from 10,000 miles away from the United States, trying to help Nepalese kids to get education and health care. And why not me? So that's, that's another source of inspiration. Paneru joined Nepal Youth Foundation because he had a lot to pay back to the organization that helped him receive an education. 20 years later, his giving back continues to play a pivotal role in many humanitarian endeavors. During his tenure at Nepal Youth Foundation, Paneru has initiated several innovative programs, including the immensely successful campaign to end the Kamlari system in Tharu community. In 2013, the campaign was successful in liberating close to 13,000 young girls. We had a rented van that I, I used to go around the schools. And I was school school. I was a sponsor of the school school. I was a social worker. I was a social worker. I was a academic professor. I was a teacher. I was a teacher. I was a teacher. I was grossly disappointed with the approach to education. With the approach, how they were treating children, physical infrastructure, you know, the quality of the teacher, you know, it was disappointing. But they were treated like animal. But when I community education education and there should be a nice integration pani hamile hamile raise gareko category haru hamro guardianship ma bhaka category ra community ka category ko ramro integration pani hos bhanera hamile eta school ko parikalpana gare then finally we decided to start from the scratch that's ulens a not for profit institution run by the ulens education foundation ulens school is motivated by its conviction that a holistic approach to education which focuses on the child as a center for learning will aid in development of child's intellectual and social skills equally today ulens school stand as a prime example on how social enterprise model ensures sustainability and also scalability diversity schools should represent a community Economic diversity. Economic diversity. Very important. Number two. What the occupations exist in society to keep the society running? Occupational diversity. Parents are going We want to educate security force. Businessman, lawyer, doctor, civil service, social development, human rights workers, artists, writers, musicians. And there is ethnic diversity. I am a lot of people who are living in the world. Just imagine, I am a billionaire in Nepal. I am a little bit of a person who is in the class. I am a little bit of a person. Okay, so and so route. And natural curiosity is what is it? What is it? And that's how they dig into the problem. They get into the society because they issue or much. And they have interest. In my country, the man who is a rich man. In my country, the man who is a rich man. In my country, the man who is a rich man. In my country, the man who is a rich man. And they always think about, someday I want to go back and help. Recent research tells us that children are hardwired from birth to connect with others, and that children who feel a sense of connection to their community, family and school are less likely to misbehave. And according to Paneru, to be successful contributing members of the community, children must learn necessary social and life skills. And it all starts at school, the development agent for the community. Dancer, Bidesani. I think, you know, I mean, we should, we should take, okay, I'm a graduate or a business guy, but brain drain, boy, when I don't know, but I don't know, but I don't know, but I It's not brain drain, it's a brain gain, oh. They are going for brain gain. And they come back. Even 50% of them, they are the ones who are going to transform Nepal. I mean, you can't go to Nepal, you can't go to Nepal, you can't go to Nepal, you so that's why you know we are preparing children for the future. That's what the education here is all about. Curiosity, 
intellectual curiosity, questioning, not complying. We are literally fermenting revolution. <laughs> they, are, they are fearless to ask questions. That's what we want. I'm the kiss traditionally. Chuplaga. Teacher Agabella, you should go to Bosa. Bob Malibana, Chuplaga. Pen Jan in Borden. Jan in Borsa. And we actually we train our children not necessarily to break the rule, but to change the rule. Through that, students are the change makers for tomorrow. They should be given all the necessary social and life skills, and it all starts in school. Salute to that determination.